Turning now to our series this week, looking at wildlife in the capital. People often see foxes as a nuisance, becoming increasingly bold in their hunt for food. But in one corner of North London, there's a fox who's become the star of a new children's book after becoming friends with the local residents. Charlotte Franks went to meet them. Gaspar. Salut. It's the unlikeliest of friendships and one which has been blossoming over the last year between a neighbourhood fox and a BBC newsreader. Zeb Soane's familiar to many who listened to the Today programme and the shipping forecast befriended the animal one evening after work. There was this beautiful little fox just here um, with an injured leg and it was the most beautiful fox that you've ever seen. It was like a, a Disney fox and I had some wafer thin ham I think and brought down and gave it to the fox and then a couple of weeks later the fox was back completely better and has visited ever since. As the fox started to become more familiar with Zeb he decided to name him Gaspard. There was something incredibly trusting about this fox uh, and it was comfortable enough to come really close to me um, and uh, there was something magical about it. Gaspard allowed Zeb to photograph him, the best of which he posted on social media. Gaspard's nose was cold and wet, but the air in his den smelled warm and sweet. The publisher got in touch with the fox, which must be the first time a fox has been approached about a book, uh, and said, it's such a shame we hadn't met you sooner, Gaspard, because your photos are beautiful. We've just done a, a photo book for children. Uh, and I thought, well, this feels like a moment. And we talked about what kind of children's book it might be. And a year later, here it is. It wasn't until Zeb met Gaspard's cubs that he realised the he was a she. We didn't think we'd catch a glimpse of Gaspard and her family, but as we were getting ready to go, this happened. And soon after, her cub appeared too. It's amazing in, in, in this busy city to have this connection with something so wild. Uh, and, and I never take it for granted. Um, the fox could decide not to arrive tomorrow, but it, it keeps turning up and I hope it still does. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News.